Cheers. Hi, I'm Shez. I'm Gav. And this is our Beneteau Oceanus 430. We made our dream a reality. Welcome aboard to Astrid the Wombat. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> do you want to know what Are I did? Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to know what I did today? Yeah, what? Tell me. Show me. It's provisioned. I cleaned it all up. Mm. People don't know what it looked like before. Did I? Yeah, I filmed what it looked like before. I'm very proud of myself. It's good. Still too much to fit on the boat, though. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Yeah. Huh. Nice job. Thanks. I even took That's some. a lot of effort. There's a lot of effort. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. I look in the kitchen, look at the big box for the garage sale. Ready to go. Big box. Stuff everywhere. It's not full though. No. It will be. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Everybody meaning you. Thanks. <laughs> We'll see if anybody's doing bats in the cave. No, no, don't go close. <laughs>
Hi everyone. For those diehards that have watched episode two, you know, a thousand times because you just um, just needed to get your fix and you couldn't wait the week, you'll remember that I said that I had joined the Beneteau Oceanus 430 um, like owners group or Facebook page or whatever for my research. Um, that proved you a really good thing and you're about to hear why. So um, let's go back to Gavin Shez. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this. Roll tape. Um, so anyway, back to the owner's page. I put this message up and that night we had someone reach out who was looking at selling their boat. And um, we are now, we had a big conversation with um, him on Friday night. He's not advertising. He's not keen to go through brokers. Clearly, we're not keen to go through brokers after our one and only experience. Well, broker, um, anyway. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, we all got along really well. Um, I am going, it's it's a flight away for us in, in Australia. So um, I need to fly there for work. Um, and I'm doing that in a week. I'll be flying up there. And so while I'm up there, I'm going to go and have a look and I'll FaceTime Gav from here. But we've had, we spoke to the guy for about two hours um, on Friday night and um, just got all the ins and outs of what he's done to it and all that sort of stuff. And he sent through all the pictures and a, and a detailed inventory and everything. And it's actually weirdly worked out better. It is a lot, seems to be a lot better than the other boat. In terms yeah, of stuff it's really been looked after and, and stuff. Maybe, yeah. maybe we um, hit the jackpot there. Yeah, I, you know, yeah. Every, everything for a reason and all that crap. I mean, we've learnt a lot from that first <laughs> experience. You love that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we learn a lot from that, that first experience. Um, but, yeah, this seems to be a lot more positive. A lot of the people we've spoken to, too, have done a lot of their, like, that have own a lot of sailboats and that have always bought and sold directly with the owners um rather than dealing with a broker because it's better for everyone they don't you don't lose money with commissions and all that sort of stuff so um i'll fly up and have a look at it while i'm working and um i'll facetime you from the boat yep and um all looking good we will organize a um so just out. to put it into perspective it's um six days sail away from us so if we do get it and uh, don't forget that we're novices <laughs> in that we literally have not pulled up a sail before or pulled out a sail in this case yeah um so it's six days sail and we'll still be within <laughs> our own state keep watching because it's so. sure to go <laughs> sure to go to shit <laughs> <laughs> and i should be um completely out of leave by then too so i'll be looking at leave without pay to come along because we were talking about it and i'm like oh i won't be able to come because like I go to the States shortly and um, I don't know that I'll have the leave to be able to do that. And um, and then the more I thought about Gav bringing it back and not, me not being a part of it, the FOMO was so real that I'm now like going, I might take leave without pain. What's FOMO? Fear of missing out. Oh. <laughs> you are an Instagrammer. Yeah. So I thought, oh, I'll just fly up to the halfway point, meet them at the marina and then jump on for the last few days, which so I might just take like a Friday off and get the Saturday, Sunday, get the last three days. Um, and then Gav told me, you're not necessarily going close to there and you'd have to come all the way in. I was just thinking like they'd go past. Yeah. So, anyway, anyway, so that's us. That's where we're up to. I'm going to get another cup of coffee. If that's yeah. all right with you. Oh, and just one more thing. Uh, one more thing. It's probably six more things. Anyway. The one we were looking at before, we would have kept the name of it, despite the fact that we've had this name in the in the workings for a while. What was the name of that first one? I don't know if we can say it on here, can we? Sure, why not? Who okay. cares? So it was called Pacific Sundowner. And if we can't say it, it'll be bleeped out. Yeah, we'll find out. Mm. Um, so we, we were like, wow, we could keep that name. We quite like yeah. it. Because that's the name of a cocktail, right? Mm. I mean, you guys going to catch up with us in the BVI or over at um, a Vanuatu somewhere and you see Thanks our boat, you can go, hey, coming over at five o'clock for a Pacific Sundowner. On the Sundowner. And we'll be yeah. like, okay, see you in a minute. This is as, 
we were pretty committed to this boat. <laughs> we had these conversations. Anyway, the next one we think will probably change the name back to our what was our original. And then we looked up, because um, it is Australian registered, which is another bonus for this one. Um, and the name that we've always had picked is actually taken. Not only is it taken, there's another one with the second on it. And we would have had to have gone with, we might have gone with the 32nd or something like to be funny, but. It's like Forrest Gump's Jennies. He's got like 140 yeah, Jennies. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny one, one, Jenny two. So we've added a little bit. And we're not going to, we, we'll, because we'll do an episode on. Oh, we're going to have a reveal. We're going to have a name with reveal. Blue and pink balloons. No balloons, babe. You know yeah. how anti balloon I am. You can get the new ones now that are good for the environment. Mm. Anyway. We're going to have a name reveal, so we won't tell you, but we think we've nutted it out so that we don't have to have the first or the second or whatever and be wanky. So um, this is going to, this is quintessentially wanky, uh... us. <laughs> um, maybe we could, maybe we could talk about the couple of names we have for our tender. No, I'll do it. It's a whole video that it's got at least an hour. So tune in for that. It's that'll be, be, that'll be, you'll edge be of your seat. the blood will be pumping through your veins on that one. Wow. End of episode three. You can see I do not have my offsider. He's in Sydney working at the moment. Um, I'm going to try and work out how we could hook up on a FaceTime and sort of film it together, but um, it's actually pretty complicated. So anyway, we'll attempt something like that another time. Um, really hope you enjoyed seeing our land boat. Um, it's just missing a sail and it would be perfect. But what it what the motorhome taught us was a lot about systems and things. Well, Gav really knew that stuff, but for me, managing battery, how all that works, um, the gas systems, battery systems, um, what you actually need in a small space to get by. Um, so a lot of lessons that we learnt um, on the Hof um, and some awesome adventures over the years as well. Um, could have started the channel earlier when we got that and and um, showing you all our scuba adventures that we had in the Hof. But the exciting thing is um, that we may have found a boat and we've this stage looked at so many boats. So uh, it's a matter of going to Townsville and seeing what happens there. So tune in for the next episode uh, when I take off to Townsville and um, have a look at the boat and make some decisions big decisions, more fiscal conversations. Uh, all right, guys, thanks so much for following, um, for tuning in uh, and for subscribing. So if you are watching without subscribing, make sure you click subscribe um, and, yeah, have an awesome day. Thanks, guys. See ya.